Sarah walked slowly through the old cemetery, her eyes scouting the many cracked headstones. There was a chill in the evening air, making her shiver in the long wool coat she wore. She had been coming here for years whenever she needed to clear her head, but today she had a more specific purpose in mind. Sarah had heard the strange stories about this place from her friends at school, but she had been too scared to investigate until now. According to her friends, if one were to whisper the name of a lost love into the air of the cemetery, they'd be able to reconnect with them. It sounded impossible, but Sarah was desperate. She had lost her brother, Michael, in a fatal car accident two months ago and ever since then, her life had been filled with aching grief and loneliness. She couldn't take it anymore. She had to try something. Sarah shivered as the sun began to set, the shadows of the cemetery growing longer. She stopped in front of one of the older-looking headstones, brushed the dirt away, and knelt down. She looked around to make sure she was alone before whispering her brother's name quietly. There was no response. Dejected, Sarah rose to her feet and turned to go when she heard a noise behind her. It sounded like a sob, the kind of quiet, broken sobbing that comes from hearts filled with despair. Frightened, yet still desperate to reconnect with her brother, Sarah slowly made her way towards the sound of the sobbing. She followed the noise until she reached a large, weathered headstone. On the other side of the grave, hidden in the shadows, she saw a figure kneeling. The figure was so still, Sarah wondered if it was real. Slowly, Sarah moved closer. The sobbing became louder, and Sarah caught a glimpse of the figure's face. It was Michael, her brother. He was sobbing and muttering her name over and over. Michael. Sarah asked in disbelief. Michael jerked his head in her direction and his eyes went wide. Sarah? He said, his voice trembling. Michael, it's me. I came here to talk to you, Sarah said, her voice quivering. Michael stood up and embraced her tightly. I thought you were gone, he said, his voice muffled in her shoulder. I wanted to say goodbye, Sarah said as tears welled up in her eyes. I heard you, I heard you calling out my name and, and I had to come, Michael said, pulling away. What's happening? Sarah asked, her voice shaking with fear. I don't know, Michael said, all I know is that as long as we stay here, I can stay with you a little while longer. Confused and scared, Sarah followed Michael out of the cemetery and he explained that if they were to leave the grounds, he would have to go back to the realm beyond. He said he had been trying to reach out to her ever since the accident, but only this place was able to grant his wishes. They talked for hours, Michael recounting stories of his time in the other realm. Even though Sarah was still filled with grief, this brief reunion with her brother gave her hope and courage to start. Moving on, when the sun rose, Michael said he must return to where he belonged, but not before asking Sarah to reach out once a month and whisper his name into the air. That way, I'll be able to come back to you, as long as you keep calling out for me, Michael said, tears pooling in his eyes. Shortly after, he disappeared. Sarah still returns to the cemetery every month, always making sure to whisper her brother's name into the air. Even though she still feels a heavy burden of sadness, she's comforted knowing Michael is still out there, somewhere, and can be with her again anytime she wishes. Summary. Sarah had been visiting a local cemetery in her town for years. According to the stories she heard from her friends at school, if one were to whisper the name of a lost love into the air of the cemetery, they'd be able to reconnect with them. After the demise of her brother, Michael, in a car accident two months ago, Sarah decides to give it a try and calls out her brother's name. To her surprise, her brother appears in the shadows of the graveyard, sobbing. They have a brief reunion where Michael tells her that as long as they stay on the graveyard grounds, they can be together. He tells her to call out for him once a month and disappears at sunrise. Sarah follows her brother's advice and visits the graveyard every month, calling out his name. She's comforted in knowing that Michael is still out there, somewhere, and can be with her again anytime she wishes.